We have some breaking news right now, though, in Southeast Asia, Taipei, Taiwan, to be specific here. Live now, look, they're in Taipei at the moment. We're getting reports of a major earthquake reported there in Taiwan as well. Live now, look, there, uh, if uh, one of my producers can tell me what time it is there as well. All right, this is what we know. A powerful earthquake uh, has rocked the entire island of Taiwan early Wednesday, collapsing buildings in the southern city and creating a tsunami that washed ashore on southern Japanese islands as well here. So uh, we have uh, just gotten this news. It's around 9 in the morning uh, on a Wednesday morning in Taipei at the moment. Now, TV showed buildings in the eastern city of Walin shaken off their foundations. Island-wide train service was suspended, as was subway service in Taipei. The quake struck around 8 in the morning on the other side of the island from the capital, but was strong enough to knock items off shelves in the city. Now, uh, remember, um, sometimes uh, the magnitude of the quake in question uh, can be uh, somewhat different depending on the agency that is reporting it. Now, this is what we know. Taiwan's earthquake monitoring agency gave the magnitude at 7.2, while the U.S. Geological Survey, of course, we rely on that here in the United States, put it at 7.5. Now, the depth was around 21 miles below the Earth's surface. We know, having covered so many earthquakes in the past, uh, that the more shallow the earthquake, the more deadly, the more dangerous. Now, the Japan Meteorological Agency forecast a tsunami of up to 9.8 feet for the southern Japanese island group of Okinawa. Uh, a wave of about one feet was detected on the coast of Yonaguni Island 15 minutes after the quake struck this all, according to the Associated Press here. So this is a breaking news story as well, uh, coming to us from Southeast Asia. Live now, look there in Taipei, in Taiwan at the moment. It's a story we have to stay on top of as well here. So in the meantime, like I said, we're going to continue with more of these international headlines as well. We're going to somewhat tangentially stay in Southeast Asia at the moment. Um, and so we also actually let's uh, focus a little more on the earthquake right now. We're getting some tweets here from social media. So the National Weather Service tsunami alerts. Uh, so tsunami not expected for places like California, Oregon, Washington, uh, British Columbia and Alaska. So it seems like the tsunami uh, threat or concern has been somewhat mitigated here. Also, Alex Michelson in Los Angeles, our friend at Fox 11, saying this. Multiple large aftershocks, including a 6.5 estimated tsunami wave of around 10 feet. Reports of collapsed buildings and people trapped in them. Landslides are visible as well. So this is shaping up to be quite a, a horrible, horrible earthquake. Of course, we have to monitor the number of people injured, fatalities. Uh, we're hoping for the best here. But it looks like the tsunami threat somewhat mitigated. They were forecasting somewhat of a 10-foot wave. Uh, it doesn't seem like that has materialized as well here. Back out live to Taipei in Taiwan uh, at the moment here. Uh, and as you know, uh, Taiwanese people just late last year held their presidential elections. Uh, and so, of course, a very, very close ally. Uh, you hear about Taiwan all the time when we're talking about its uh, particular and distinct threat it poses to China, or should I say vice versa, the threat China poses to it. So I want to put up this from the U.S. Geological Survey uh, as they track these uh, here. You see uh, the ripples um, kind of on the seismograph there uh, as they are concentric circles in and out. So um, the Associated Press... Uh, indicated and characterized this as uh, an earthquake affecting the whole island. Of course, the island is not that big in size there. Uh, it looks like the epicenter was on uh, the east coast uh, of the island there in Taiwan. So, and you see it there. Of course, it's uh, having impacts felt in nearby Japan and, and wanted to get the U.S. angle as well. Sometimes when these uh, earthquakes and tsunami threats occur in Southeast Asia. You never know, they could have impacts from, you know, Hawaii, Alaska, and uh, the Pacific coast of mainland USA. All right, in the meantime here, I uh, wanted, like I said, uh, to kind of dive in more to so many of the other top international headlines.